हेलो दोस्तों आप लोग सभी को मेरा ई मेनल डी ब्लॉग में आप लोग का स्वागत करता हूँ मैं आप लोग का आज प्रेसेस डे का प्रोग्राम दिखाने वाला है 48 एट प्रेसेस डे ईस्टर्न बाइबल कॉलेज आप लोग का प्रोग्राम को सब मैं दिखाने वाला है आप लोग इन्जॉय करते जाइए Hello everyone. My name is Divika Slary, and uh, I came from Assam, and I'm Boro community, and uh, I did I did BA and. Hello everyone. Good morning. Uh, to talk about my hobby 
hobbies, I like uh, listening music, dancing, and also working. Uh, after my uh, after my studies, I will be joining uh, full time ministry and. I'll Good morning, friends. It's my first time to step here. Step another place. I have to represent the single world, all the lectures, and all my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Well, my name is James, and I belong to the Lutha community. And I stay I from Tucson, Kyoto Tucson College. And, uh, and I'm currently study here. And they have one, so please pray for me. Wishing you all a very good morning to you all. Respected chairperson, judges, honorable principal, and lecturers, and all my dear beautiful brothers and sisters. It's my pleasure to introduce myself. My good name is Levet Omika, studying in BTH1. Blessing on people that you meet. 
That's very important. And as I was saying this, uh, God said, you know, I will surely bless them, but you need to teach them how to obey me. Are you listening? You need to teach them, both the students and faculty, how to obey me. If they obey me, I will bless them. If they don't obey me, I curse them. And uh, that was uh, something that was given to Moses uh, many years ago. And keep this in mind, God's word is eternal. Hallelujah. God's word is eternal. And uh, it is the same yesterday, today and forever. So it may have been given many years ago, but it still applies today. Isn't it? It still applies today. And that's what God told me. He said, I will bless them beyond their imagination if they obey my word. Like I blessed Abraham, I blessed David, I blessed the Father, I'm blessing you. I will also bless them. If you teach them to obey me. Now we need to walk in God's blessing. And to walk in God's blessing, every day we have to pass the test of obedience. Are you listening? That's very, very important. Let me tell you a story, a story that I tell uh, the new students. You know, many years ago, there was a monastery, like a Bible college. Okay, it was in the medieval period. And there was a monastery way up, okay, on a hill. And I think even today, okay, in Europe, uh, you see a lot of monastery, okay, on the uh, hill and mountain top. So there was a young man, just like you, I think you students. Uh, he went up to the principal of the monastery and said, Sir, I want to join the monastery. So the principal said, that's very fine, but you will have to pass the test of obedience if you want to come and study in a monastery. So the student said, Sir, I'm willing to do anything. Okay, please give me the test because I really want to study in this monastery. So the principal said, that is fine. So what you do is, the next day, you need to come at 3 o'clock in the morning to the monastery. Now keep this in mind, this was somewhere in Europe, it was very cold, it was snowing. Uh, you know, it was extremely uncomfortable to get up in the morning. So the principal said, come at 3 o'clock in the morning. So this young man was very excited. He said, yes sir, I will do that. So the next day he got up, okay, quite early, and he started to walk from his village to the monastery. It was way up, okay, on the hill. And it took him a couple of hours to walk, and it was snowing, it was dark. So he reached there, uh, most probably quite early, and, you know, the gate was closed. The gate of the monastery was closed. So he had to wait there from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock in the snow. Okay, from 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock. Yeah. And uh, it was quite dark and very, very cold. But he stood there very patiently. And then at 6 o'clock, the monastery gate opened. And the principal was there, okay, and the young man wished the principal good morning. And the principal called him inside the examination hall. I said, okay, now we can sit down for the examination. So the young man sat down and uh, the principal gave him a paper and the principal told him, your test is very simple. Just spell the name God, G-O-D. So the young man took a pen and he wrote G-O-D and the principal said, young man, you have passed your test for obedience. Now, if you look at a test of obedience, it is quite similar to Luke chapter 9, verse 23. Okay, I want you to open your Bible. Okay, Luke chapter 9, verse 23. It is a test of you know, discipleship. A test of discipleship is all about obedience. Please see that in mind. It's all about obedience. And Jesus said, if anybody wants to come after me, that person need to deny himself. That's very, very important. Need to deny himself. 
So the principal said the first test was a test of sacrifice. Okay, a test of sacrifice. You passed. It. So the principal told him you got up five o'clock, uh, three o'clock in the morning. It was very cold. You must have been feeling sleepy. Okay, but you sacrificed your comfort, your interest, and everything, and you came to the monastery. So this goes for you also, young people. Okay? So sometimes you will ask to get up in the morning. Okay, you have to sacrifice your comfort. Please keep this in mind. Okay, the cost of a discipleship is all about obedience. And you need to sacrifice your interest, your comfort. As long as you are interested in your interest and comfort, you can never follow Jesus Christ. Are you listening? Yes? It's all about giving up your interest giving up your comfort, giving up your self-centeredness. It's all about sacrificing everything that you've got to follow Jesus Christ. And then the second is, you know, take up your cross daily. You know, cross symbolizes, you know, a hard life. Please be better in mind, a hard life. This young man, he got up in the morning and he walked Okay, for a couple of kilometers, most probably for hours he walked. And not only that, he was very patient. He stood very patiently at the gate of the monastery, without complaining. Are you listening? Without complaining. All the hardship he took up, because he had sacrificed his comfort. Please keep this in mind. Time to time, your patience will be tested, young people. You need to wait for God's time. Are you listening? Yes? Discipleship is all about waiting for God's time, not your time. You have no right to order God and tell God, in my time you do this, you do that. No. Galatians 4 4 says, in the fullness of time, God sent Jesus Christ. Do you understand? So you need to wait patiently for God's time. Kneel down and pray and wait for God's time. In the fullness of time, God will lift you up and bless you. Hallelujah. It's all about discipleship. And then, you know, um, the principle said, the last test was a test of humility. Okay, it was a test of humility. And uh, the principle told him, I ask you to do a simple thing and without questioning you did. So principal said, no, you have no pride in you. Whatever I told you, you did. So that is all about the silence. Please keep this in mind. I was in the US in 2012, I think, with my father. Uh, it was a very encouraging time. We did ministry in many places. We went to New York City, we went to Rochester, we went to Hatfield, we went to uh, Philadelphia, okay? We went to New Jersey. A lot of places we traveled. So in Philadelphia, uh, we did ministry in a very big church that belonged to one of my father's friends. After the uh, service, the pastor took us to a very good Chinese restaurant. Uh, maybe uh, they thought we looked like Chinese, okay, so we like Chinese food. So after having a food in a Chinese restaurant, they gave us a small ball, okay? And we had to break open the ball, and there was a Chinese proverb written inside it. And the Chinese proverb, it read, logic kills the spirit. Are you listening? Logic kills the spirit. In ministry, if you're too logical, it will kill your spirit. Let me tell you. Ministry is all about walking in humility and by faith. That's why the Word of God says, the righteous shall live by faith. We live by faith and not by sight. Keep this in mind. So as a disciple, God has called you to be obedient. Okay, number one, you need to completely sacrifice everything that you have okay it should no more be your will but god's will be done i hope you understand and 
Secondly, you should be able to take up hardship in your life. The Word of God says, Blessed are those who are persecuted, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Now don't look for a bed of roses in ministry. Are you listening? If you're looking for a bed of roses in ministry, comfort is a wrong place for you. Ministry is a very, very hard thing. Jesus said, because they persecuted me, okay, they will also persecute you. I'm sending you among sheep, like a sheep among the wolves. Now you understand? So ministry is very tough. It requires a lot of sacrifice, a lot of hardship. It is for tough people. You listening? Ministry is for tough people. And thirdly, it is for humble people. Always willing to obey. Without questioning God. Are you listening? How dare we question God? Isn't it? You know better. Just simply listen to Him. And the Word of God says, in due time, He will lift you up. Are you listening? Let me read for you one Bible passage and then we will conclude. I want you to open to the Gospel of Luke. Chapter 9, Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verse 62. Gospel of Luke, chapter 9, verse 62. But Jesus said to him, No one who has put his hand in the claw and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. This is one verse that is keeping me going in ministry. The young people are listening. Because sometimes I get so tired in ministry, I want to give up ministry, to be honest. But this is one verse that God gave me in Bible college that keeps me going. I've already put my hand in the floor. Okay, no matter what trials, temptation, hardship comes, I have to keep going on. If not, I will be disqualified for the kingdom of God. The word of God says, only those to the last to keep their faith will be saved. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So young people, you have come here to this college. Uh, you are in the right place. I hope you understand. And keep holding on to Jesus and He will give you the strength to go on in ministry. And I believe one day after your graduation, you will have a wonderful ministry. And above all, okay, we will meet in heaven to enjoy our fellowship for eternity.